Hello internet, my name is Mark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going a bit more experimental, a bit more live with what we're doing today, as opposed to something more scripted or, you know, thought out. For a while, I've been of the mind that equipment doesn't fully matter. If you want to start making videos on YouTube, pull out your phone or just some crappy webcam and start making videos. If you want to be a faster typist, then a keyboard is something that's going to influence you further down the road of your typing and not be a make or break thing of 40 words per minute. And microphones can often be oversold, I believe. You can get really good quality out of a pretty cheap microphone, or so I believe, and that's what we'll be testing in this video. But the thing is, people put too much reliance on hardware and not enough on software. Now, if you don't know me already, my name is Mark, as I mentioned, and I'm a student studying computer science and linguistics with a minor in game design, graduating in one more semester. But I have a lot of experience with video editing. I've been editing videos for eight to nine years now. I really enjoy the audio editing aspect of it. It's the bane of my existence, but I really enjoy doing it. So a while ago, I put down this idea of testing how close I can get to my studio microphone with just a phone microphone. In the past, I also got a blue snowball. So we have three microphones today, and I'm going to record the same sample of audio on them. And then I'm going to tweak them both in Adobe Audition and Audacity. So a paid program and a free program and see just how good I can get the audio to sound. Now, my room has probably pretty bad acoustics. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead to the uh, camera microphone. So this is how the camera sounds. And right here, I'm gonna just tweak the audio a bit to see how editing audio can make it sound wildly different. I have my Rode microphone right next to me, and that's what I use mainly throughout this video, which I will switch back to now. Anyway, the process is pretty simple. I have three microphones, the Rode NT1 USB, which is technically a studio microphone, but uses a USB connection. The Blue Snowball, which is probably the cheapest professional microphone on the market, and I think it's a great choice for anyone who wants to whatever. I'm not sponsored by any company, I just, I'm a very big proponent of the Blue Snowball. And then we have the iPhone 8 or 6, it doesn't matter, it's a relatively old iPhone. I'll be recording the same sample of audio for all three devices, and as I mentioned, editing them in two different softwares. Now my intention here is to use the software, either Adobe Audition and or Audacity, to get the iPhone microphone, which I assume will sound the worst, to sound like the Rode NT1. USB, which I assume will sound the best. And same with the Blue Snowball, to see how well I can get it to sound like the Rode NT1 USB. All in all, my hypothesis here is that no matter what microphone we use, we'll be able to achieve a really good sounding audio by importing the audio and just doing a little bit of stuff in Adobe Audition and Audacity. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and set up these microphones, set up what I'm recording, and we'll jump right into it. All right, so we're going to go sort of vlog style here. This is the tripod where my camera was. I use Audacity normally to record. This is my Trello board with the script and stuff. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So we have the Rode NT1 USB set up on a mini mic arm here with Kirby in the background as always. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue snowball pretty much right next to it. This I have not used in a very long, long time. So these two are gonna be right next to each other. Then to get even on height, take the old iPhone and we'll put it, whoosh, lots of switching here, right here on the same-ish elevation as the blue snowball. Now I will be speaking toward the microphones like this. Hopefully there won't be much directional variation. Uh, there will be a lot to say about the situational differences that you can get in different microphones, but I will come back to that later. I'm just doing the recording bit now. Okay, so <laughs> we have Audition here on the left, which is gonna be recording from the Rode NT1 USB. Ooh, meta. Then we have Audacity on the right, which is the free software that you can use for whatever you want. That is set up to be the blue snowball. And then on the iPhone, we're gonna just use the default voice memos app, nothing fancy, and I will just hit record on here. I'm shaking it because there's addresses on it apparently. Now, to stay on brand for the productivity channel thing, I'm gonna tell you about my Trello board for 30 seconds, and that's the clip of audio we're gonna work with. <laughs> so stupid, but I'm doing it anyway. So, we go ahead and we open Audition, which will begin recording on the Rode NT1 USB microphone. We will then go ahead and into Audacity, and we will go ahead and hit record, which is recording the blue snowball microphone. And then we will go ahead and hit record on the iPhone, which will be recording, you guessed it, the iPhone microphone. And in order to sync everything up, we're gonna go ahead and into the Trello board. I'm gonna clap. All right, so that should do it. Let me go ahead and 
a little bit of an end sync for the microphones there, but that should be good. Anyway, let me wrap up this mic stuff and we'll get to step two. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. We will be opening Audition and Audacity momentarily, but the first thing that I wanna do is sync everything up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the two Rode microphones. Now, my normal process uses Audition, so what I'm gonna do is edit the audio in Audition, which is really easy through Premiere. Uh, you can just right click the audio and edit clip with Adobe Audition. And then I'm gonna try to mimic that process in Audacity to the best of my ability. This is the Rode. In theory, it sounds the best without editing from all of them. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording videos. On the left, I have the first thing I'm gonna do, and this isn't really meant to be a tutorial, but here we are. I'm gonna amp this up a little bit. I have some permanent cards that I like to use. I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester, blah, 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 some template cards. I'm speaking way too fast, definitely. But the next thing I'm gonna do is denoise it. In videos, on the left, I have some permanent cards that I like to use. I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester, blah, 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 some template cards. Each video has a... Now, I'm not gonna give the same settings to each microphone. I don't feel like that's fair in the first place because they each have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, so I'll be tweaking them to what I think sounds not the best, but at least really good. On the left, I have some permanent cards that I like to use. I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester, blah, 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 blah. I've already kind of messed this up a little bit, but um, we'll go and see if we can fix that up. Some template videos. On the left, I have some permanent cards that I like to use. Five for the script, five for the video, and five. Okay, so I'll give it this voiceover processing. This is the Trello board that I use. Go ahead and hit save. Boom, that's road mic completed. Sirens, yeah, love it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna go ahead and control M. We're gonna go to MP3 or dot .wave. Do we have that option? Waveform. We'll eat it into lifestyle, mics on multiple devices, a roll, road audio for audacity. Now we'll go ahead and uh, edit audacity. Or sorry, open audacity. Go to where we've just exported this. So road audio for audacity. And I'm actually gonna do, Okay, that took a weirdly longer amount of time. All right, so we have the road stuff. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording. So the first thing I do is amplify it a little bit. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording videos. On the left, I have... You can still hear a little bit of background noise. So, um, noise reduction. Select... Oh, this is noise prints. I wonder... Okay, this is gonna... So let's see if I can find... I remember doing this ages ago before I had Audition. Um, How do you zoom in, though? Hello? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so... On the left, I have some permanent... That's also a breath. I should I should have uh, been a bit wiser about this. Okay, we'll use this. Ha! <laughs> Effect. Uh, capture noise print. Uh. Um, don't care about you right now. So, effect. Noise reduction. Get noise profile. Effect. Noise reduction. Select all the audio... Select a few seconds. Okay. That's like not even half a second. That's actually pretty good. So preset description. We've got some checklists down below. Well, each okay. five I'm very impressed. Um, I don't know. Is there any like processing here that I can mess with? I guess I could go, you know, I'm not going to do any dynamics processing. Um, we'll just see if I can tweak things, I guess. Each video has a preset description. So this sounds each good video to me. has a preset description. So I'll go ahead and save that or export it. I should say new road audio. Love it. Now we'll go to road mic audacity. We'll go ahead and alt click to select it alone. Delete it. I'm speaking like this is a tutorial, I'm sorry. And here we go. So this is the Trello board that I use. Okay. For... So this is the Trello board that I use. So this is a little deeper video. because it's dynamically processed. So this is the Trello board that I use. Now, long story short, if you have a really nice microphone, you don't need to do much work in audition nor in audacity to get a good sounding sound. So. Let's go mess with the snowball next. So the snowball has three settings, and I had this on setting one, which I believe is unidirectional towards it. It does sound a little muffled, so this might just be my mistake, but let's go ahead and edit, in, edit it in Audition and see what we can come up with. Okay, so let's go ahead and amplify this. There's like no noise in this. I wanted to dedicate about four hours. We've got some checklists down below each five. Okay, I'm not gonna denoise this like at all. Video. And then we're gonna go ahead and do um, amplitude. I don't know, this is an extra step you just don't need. On the left, I have some permanent cards that I like to use. I want to dedicate about four hours a week to the semester, blah, 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 some template cards. I didn't mean to do that, I'm so sorry. 
Go ahead. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of DSing. That's about it. Any videos on the left, I have some perfect. And we'll go ahead and save that. And then we will go ahead and jump back into Audacity and do the same thing once more. So again, we'll go to amplify this. It is the Trello board that I use for. Okay, we'll use this. <laughs> Effects, uh, noise reduction, capture noise profile. Got it. Okay, I got the noise profile. I gotta select all of it. So this is the Trello board that I use for. Okay, so we're gonna reduce not as much. Up the sensitivity a little bit. Let's move it out. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording videos on the. Okay, so the difference here, right? That I use for recording video. And then the road. So this is the Trello board. Is that the audio that it captures? It's the Trello board that I use. Is just different. I know this on a fundamental level, and I'm sure you do too. Oh, <laughs> you can multiply that a lot. Okay. I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester. I just wanted to, I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to make it a little deeper. So I'm gonna, so I just did some treble and bass modifications. So file, export. So we go into Snowball Audacity. New Snowball Audio. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. And here we have it. So here's the Snowball mic with Audition. So this is the Trello board that I... And then as I make a video, it goes into Ideas and... And here's it with Audacity. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording videos. And then as I'm... I'm actually going to reduce this by minus two. The upload. And then as I... I'm not going to count video. gain towards it at all because gain's simple. Okay, here's the fun one. iPhone mic. This is where this is where my skills get tested and we see if I if there's any merit to what I think. Here's the original sounding audio. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording. It's not the worst thing in the world, but... Any videos... Now the difference between the denoise with Audition and Audacity is just the adaptive. So if you, actually I'll show it in a second, but do we need to- The board that I use for recording videos. On the left I have some permanent- No, we'll see, okay. So when I go to noise reduction and then I denoise, already we sound a lot like the snowball. That I use for recording- So if I go and process this at all- I use for recording videos. On the left I have some permanent cards. I don't want to go deep into EQ because I don't think that's really worth it. But you know, we'll keep it like this. For the semester, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Maybe lazy. We'll see. Uh, okay, back to Audacity, and we'll mess with the iPhone audio. On the left, there's just more noise in the background. That's pretty much it. Like over here, we couldn't see anything on the other two microphones, uh, but here we can. That's because I breathe, and it caught my breath. I didn't. Yeah. So let's just capture everything. Why not? Noise reduction. And let's let's see. So this is the Trello board that I use videos. On the left, I have some. Sounds actually really good. I'm kind of surprised. And that's just Audacity and an iPhone microphone. So let's go ahead and uh, not save. File export. Wow, I've never had this many clips in an A-roll folder before. I love it. It's exciting. All right, let's go ahead and close Audacity because we can. So we went from this. So this is the Trello board that I use for to to this. So this is the Trello board that I use for and. For recording videos. I didn't amplify this and I probably should have, but I mean, that's not bad. Okay, so in your, in the best situation, you have a more professional microphone with a paid software, and that's what this is. On the left, I have some permanent cards that I like. And in the worst case, you use what you have with free software. So that would be iPhone and Audacity. So this is the Trello board that I use for recording. All right, so I don't know when I muted the Rode microphone. So for a while, we were actually using the camera audio there. Oopsie. So my hypothesis, right, was that you can get audio that sounds really good, if not like a studio microphone, with what you have on hand with just a little bit of work. And I think I've gotten pretty close. Sure, there's sort of a difference here. So this is the Trello board that I use. So this is the Trello board that I but there's not much of one. Now, the point that I wanna make out is that this difference will be huge to people. You know, I see a lot of difference, but that's after I've done this for a while. There are definitely people out there, audio engineers, you know, people who do ASMR, people who work on music for a living, who will hear these differences. But for the average viewer, there's really no difference. So when you have a microphone and think, oh, I need a better microphone. No, you don't. I don't think you do. What you do need is just a little bit of time in Audacity. Sure, it takes some time to export the audio and re-export it, but it's all worth it in the end, in my opinion. And I do think something really went wrong with recording the blue microphone because it sounded so muffled, but genuinely, I think I could have gotten the same audio as a Rode or at least audio that doesn't sound too different. Anyway, that concludes this part of the study, I guess. I'll go ahead and play this entire 30 second clip. 
I don't know why I chose to speak so fast and I apologize if I spoke too fast throughout this video. And we'll go ahead and go through all six different variations of the mic with some text on screen. And without me rambling more, let's go into that. This is the Trello board that I use for recording videos. On the left, I have some permanent cards that I like to use. I wanted to dedicate about four hours a week toward the semester, blah, 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 some template cards. Each video has a preset description. We've got some checklists down below, each five for the script, five for the video, and five for the upload. And then as I make a video, it goes into ideas in motion, writing and filming. When I'm done filming it, i.e. the second checklist, it goes to editing. When I render and review, I go ahead and put review into thumbnail. And then suppose I have finished a video, it goes into its respective column and I get a little bit of confetti. All right, so actually one of my settings on Audacity was a little different. So maybe that accounted for the blue microphone switch, but there you have it. All three microphones edited pretty, pretty simply. We just reduced some noise and we edited the volume and did a little bit of processing on Audition, and in Audacity, messed with the bass and treble a little bit. With that quick one minute of work, we can go ahead and export the audio within seconds or minutes, and even if you do have a professional microphone, you're gonna be doing that stuff anyway, at least in my opinion. Now, I think it's important to note that this won't cover everything. However, I do wanna show that if you wanna, you know, make a video, record a podcast, all you need is, you know, your phone, maybe your, your friend's phone, your family's phone, and you just record two people talking with one microphone and you can work and edit on it later. It's really as simple as I showed in the video. Now, for cases like, you know, professionals where they're, singing in the studio, I'm sure vocal cries would peak very quickly on the iPhone. In other words, you know, when you saw those spikes on the iPhone earlier and how tall it was, those shouldn't be that tall. If I go ahead and get way too close to the microphone like this, this is gonna peak the audio. But if I'm back here, we're good. <laughs> So I think my hypothesis was proven that if you have a pretty generic mic lying around, you know, a $50 blue snowball, because you're on a budget, you can make it sound really, really, really good. You just need a little bit of effort. That's all it is. It might sound bad all of a sudden, but you throw it into audacity and you're good to go. If you want to see more videos like this, I'd love to hear it because I have so many of these questions where, you know, equipment doesn't matter. And it would be cool to hear if anybody has those ideas about equipment themselves and hasn't been able to try this themselves. Maybe I could do that because I think this is like a super fun process. I'll continue to use the Rode NT-USB because sunk cost fallacy, but I think the Snowball is a very valid choice to use, you know, if maybe I need to go away for a short period of time and I don't want to undo my whole setup. Again, not sponsored by any microphones in this video or whatever, but thank you so much for watching. If you are someone that hangs around my videos, then I am glad to inform you that the Seashell Devlog will be returning this summer every other week. and. We will have an actual learning log every other week as well. That's not the week of Seashell. And I'm going to be learning Japanese and I'm going to be seeing how much Japanese I could learn throughout the three months this summer. Each video is going to break down like syntax and then one's going to be about phonetics. It's going to be fun. So if you're into linguistics, keep an eye out. If you're curious on what's coming next from me, that's what's coming next from me. But yeah, without further ado, thanks yet again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.